Kyle Shanahan is a lot of things. He's intelligent. He's creative. He's confident. He's extremely honest. But he is not subtle. Subtlety is not in his bag of tricks. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Moving on. This was brought to my attention last night. I'm not taking credit for this uh, find because it's it's amazing. But I'm also not going to say who told me because it was private. And if that person would like to take credit, you're free to tweet it. Come in the uh, the chat section, whatever, and say this was me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reveal the source, although it's not that explosive. But it's it was private, so I'm gonna say this was this was brought to my attention. I'm not taking credit, but it's amazing. So anyway. Month and a half ago, Connor Orr, staff writer at Sports Illustrated, where I work, wrote, wrote an article about the future of the 49ers and Jimmy G. I didn't think that much of the article at the time. I mean, a lot of people have been writing about Jimmy G, and we all kind of assume that he's a goner, but we don't know for sure. So anyway, this tweet was DM'd to me last night, and I'm going to put it in the chat box. Okay? There it is. Check it out. I'll give you a second. Open it up. What you'll see, it says, one, a team that won the NFC title game with eight passing attempts won't miss Jimmy G. Two, Kyle Shanahan would be a very popular coach for any quarterback on the market, Connor or on the 49ers future. So that's very specific. You wouldn't really think much of it. You know, uh, Sports Illustrated have tried to have a, a, a grabby title, right? Okay, so very interesting. Seven retweets. Seven. That's it. You see that? Seven retweets, two quote tweets, 33 likes. Click, click on the retweets. Click on the retweets. Who retweeted this? Matthew Wagner. I don't know that guy. The Monday morning quarterback. Sure, that's affiliated with Sports Illustrated. And then there's an interesting one. QB Collective. QB Collective retweeted this. Does that ring any bells? Have you heard of QB Collective? I hadn't heard of it. I had to research. Maybe some of you guys know what QB Collective is. You can go ahead and click on it. If you click on it, it'll bring you to their Twitter feed, and it'll also give you a link to their uh, um, website, qbcollective.com. Here's what you need to know about QB Collective. The CEO and founder is a guy named Richmond Flowers the third. His dad played in the NFL, born in 1947. Richmond, the third, played at Duke, was a wide receiver, was drafted as a wide receiver by the Cowboys, played in the uh, European NFL Europe, and then came back, played for Washington a little bit, and then was a, an offensive assistant under Mike Shanahan on the same staff as Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay, Matt LaFleur, all these guys. He was there. And then... Jim Harbaugh hired Richmond Flowers III as an offensive assistant. So he's been here before. Anyway, he's very close with the Shanahan's. If you go to qbcollective.com, what it is, it's basically Richmond Flowers teaching the top high school quarterbacks in the country how to play pro-style quarterback in systems like Sean McVay's, Kyle Shanahan. He says, look, I know these guys. I know what they're looking for. I can school you in a way that will make you appealing to these type of offensive coordinators. If you go on his website, the first, the first pictures you'll see is Mike Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay. They have NFL position coaches who work for them at the QB Collective. Matt, Mike LaFleur, 49ers passing game coordinator. Mike McDaniel, 49ers run game coordinator. Shane Day, 49ers quarterback coach. So the 49ers position coaches, three of them, and two lesser coordinators work for the quarterback collective. They work together. And this Richmond Flowers guys go Richmond Flowers Richmond Flowers guy goes way back with the Shanahan's. He is one of seven people who retweeted this article. So I don't know. I have no idea if they're related, if they've been talking. But all I gotta say is, as I said at the beginning, Kyle Shanahan is not subtle at all. And I'm not connecting any dots. I'll let you guys do that. QB Collective retweeted it. Okay. Is if you needed any more confirmation that Jimmy Garoppolo ain't coming back next year? I think that's all you need to know. 
the guy who runs the quarterback factory for Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay said, retweeted a tweet and an article that said a team that won the NFC title game with eight passing attempts won't miss Jimmy G and Kyle Shanahan would be a very popular coach for any quarterback on the market. Guys, forget Jimmy G. He's gone. You might like Jimmy G, but the worst kept secret in the league, I believe, is that Kyle really don't. You think I'm hard on Jimmy? Whew. I imagine Kyle's much saltier about that topic. So uh, I hope you guys found that kind of interesting. Not subtle at all. I get the feeling that Kyle's the kind of guy who tells how he really feels to anyone who will listen off the record and people like this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop speculating. I'll let you guys do the speculating. I think it's very interesting. And I, I think it's all you need to know that this dude is gone. 